What is going on, everybody? Today we are going to do the full review of the Tucson TS300 Pandemic Knife. This knife has been really, really very entertaining, I've got to tell you. It is really a reminiscent of a couple of my favorite knives that I am going to compare it to right now. And one is the Spydeco PM2. Very much operational with the... Let's line them up. Almost a perfect same size. Deployment holes. Even though that the hole is very different on the Tucson, it's still very, very active and reactive in its deployment. The other one I think is very entertaining to compare to is the Vero Engineering Mini Impulse. So all these knives are very, very close in your same length and really the same overall build except for the PM2 has a little bit more curvature instead of a straight line. And obviously I've added the added the titanium scales after market but yeah these knives are very very much rocking very much enjoy them all um frame you know they obviously the vero is a frame lock just like the the 300 not compared obviously to the spydeco which has the friction lock but yeah very nice these i love these Three knives are probably not my my most favorite, but definitely carry a, a lot. I mean, I have to fight to put them down to carry other knives that I have to review and everything else. And so it's very reminiscent of it, of those knives in particular. I find that the, the Tonto tip, I end up using that the most when I'm cutting things. It's like a whole knife in itself. Love that. Kind of like really the Recon one. You know, you've got that very aggressive Tonto tip. And you find yourself kind of using it more than you realize a lot of times. When you're not using the direct blade itself, you're obviously using that secondary edge a lot. And what's really nice is even though it's not an aggressive secondary tip, it still very much works when you're cutting and you can also kind of roll the knife. It's almost like a big belly. So it makes it very workable at the same time. So I very much, yeah, I very much enjoyed this knife. Um, I paid like $190. That was when it first came out and it was excessively hot at the time. They have come down in price considerably now. Of course, you're dealing with eBay, you know, in the bidding wars. So it's depending. Sometimes you can get them cheaper. Sometimes you, there might be a little bit more of a battle. Let's get a quick weight on the sucker. That's not bad. Four and a half. That's not bad at all. Four and a half ounces. I don't think that's bad at all. It carries very nicely in the pocket. It really does. I, the pocket clip is a nice ball machined pocket clip. And it's worked very, very nicely. Stays very much in your pocket. And just the action alone is just phenomenal. Get past that secondary detent. She just drops like clothes. Let's do a quick thickness. Let's see here. I don't know why. I, oh, there we go. Uh, let's do inches first here. So let's get It's really not that thick. So let's just see what it really comes out at. 145 thousandths. And just a little over three and a half millimeters for you guys that like the millimeters. So yeah, really not all that bad. Let's actually, while we're doing it, let's, I don't know why this thing keeps, so let's just do a quick comparison to the PM2. Yeah, so that's, they're right there, right? Yep, just a hair, hair bigger. Just a hair bigger compared to the PM2. So, you know, everyone's kind of keeping their thicknesses pretty close overall. 
in thickness, you know, you're looking at pretty much the same in your overall thickness and your overall height, even though the PM2 has a little bit more of the bulging, but people don't, you know, they can, like, like me, you tend to get around that because it's, it's such a, it's, it's a fidget friendly knife. And th that's what this knife is too. This knife is definitely fidget friendly as I just totally mess it up. <laughs> yeah, it's totally fidget friendly also. Um, obviously the friction lock on the PM2 adds a little bit more to it, but feels great in the hand you got I got a nice purchase in any grip that I am using it in I'm not sure it would be kind of nice maybe to have a little bit of jimping up there but I'm telling you you don't feel like you're gonna go anywhere with this knife oh just realized I had a little battle scars there <laughs> no surprise there with what I bang into things a lot at work so eh, battle scars all part of carrying a knife so, yeah, I mean, and I've carried this knife a lot, too. It's just oh, so fidget-friendly, so comfortable in the hand. So, you know, it came razor sharp. Let's get a quick, yeah, line, line, line up is pretty much spot on, as you can tell. You know, very, very close tolerances on these knives, too. That's one thing I will say about... A lot of these Asian companies is that they are, when you've gotten the more upper echelon of knives, their, their tolerances are spot on. They really are. And it's when they get it done right and you got a blade that you like and a knife that you like, I'm telling you, it just feels great. And this knife is performs great. It's it and it's fidget friendly too. So I've, I've really enjoyed this knife a lot so if you guys you know if you like a, a good swept kind of tonto like that i'm telling you it feels great in the hands if you can get a good price on it and like i said sometimes on ebay you can snag one up i'm telling you you won't regret it i love it so there you guys go i really <laughs> blew that out of the water so there you guys go make sure you hit that subscribe button was we always have more Tonto knives in gear coming out. So have a great day, guys. Bye.